What's up guys and welcome back to Far Cry 5. Oh my goodness, a lightning start to this episode. An electric start, you could say. That was uh, that was actually pretty intense. We are here on Libertad HQ Island. I don't know if the island is actually called anything. The, the Zamuk Archipelago here. So um, this is our home base. This is where we started the game when we got out of the, the, the first area. We went here. And then from there, we went up north or west, I guess you could say. Now we're going to be moving into Valle de Oro. So uh, should be interesting. Looks like we're going to be meeting up with Talia and Paolo. We're going to be taking down Maria Marquesa. And we're going to keep on moving forward towards Esperanza. So one thing that's kind of interesting, this used to be an 8. Now it's a 10. So I, I think as you level up and scale up, so do the areas around the map. So technically, we could go straight to Esperanza and take out Anton right now. But it'd be way over our head. The enemies would be super tough. And honestly, it's that's just not that fun. Like, I, I, I want to play through the whole map. So we're going to go through this area, then to this area. And then we're finally going to be leveled up enough to be able to take on Esperanza. But uh, here at the HQ... There's not really much. It's a, a pretty small island. I mean, it's it's pretty or whatever, but we do have our uh, our wrestle fair weapon table now in between missions and stuff when we're traveling and whatever I have been stopping and collecting some depleted uranium. So we actually we've got 500 each one of these weapons and supremos costs 100 so we can buy anything we want here to be honest in terms of supremo so there's one that puts fire around you there's one that puts poison gas around you one that is a medic and then one that's uh an impulse like emp type thing Ooh, what is this flying to our rage by boosting your speed and health unleashing your machete kills on any enemy that actually sounds kind of exciting i'm, I'm i might try that let's let's purchase that i was gonna say to be honest i feel like our our you know, Mortar Supremo to be able to take down choppers and stuff is pretty clutch. I'm going to be sad if we don't have that. So we'll, we'll, we'll try something else out new, but um, I think we'll probably end up going back to the Mortar. Uh, next up, Resolver Weapons. So we've got a Revolver. We've got La Clavadora. Interesting. El Besito, Pyrotechno, El Susuro, Discos Locos. So this is a, a, a like a Magnum with a shield. This is some sort of like a projectile type thing, like a, a crossbow or something maybe. This is a gas shooter. This is explosives. That's a nail gun and that's a disc gun. I kind of want to try the explosives. Let's let's try this out. So yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting. We've got a brand new set of, of WrestleVare weapons and abilities that we're going to take into this new area. I think this next area isn't as focused on the agriculture and stuff. So, you know, we, we use the flamethrower quite a bit in that first area because we had a lot of the fumigators but i don't think we're gonna have them anymore so it, it should should be a, a different a different task for us so we're gonna be going i guess over here cienega nablada national park all right let's let's go see who we can meet Clara, i'm on my way to valle de oro good i hope you find maximus matanzas how okay. do you know them anyway talia and i led the first protests against castillo while paulo mobilized the dissidents we lost contact after the Esperanza riots. I saw those riots. A lot of people got hurt. This is the fort. Looks like no one's been here for a hundred years. Hey! Uh, Maximus Matanzas? Talia? Just setting her down easy, no big deal. Um, hopefully that rotor stops spinning there soon. Okay, we're, we're good. Let's... Ooh. A squatter. Ooh. Looks like you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Somebody must be chasing after them, huh? Somebody came looking Maybe for them. Maybe they left the note. Hmm. Oh, a note right here. What do I believe in? Freedom, music, Maximas Matanzas, connecting to people. My mom, Yara, fighting Castillo. What do I do? How do I do it? Outside, we've got more music items. Okay. Are we following some sort of a trail here? It seems... Yeah. It looks like these fingers are pointing us in certain they directions. Did you run with that? <sighs> Idiotas. We've got blue marking over here. Just gotta keep looking for the blue. Probably have more gators out here somewhere. Just gonna pretend like I don't see anything. Oh, 
está tranquilo por acá. Please, don't do this. What are you? Pelican. Okay, I didn't want to shoot him, but I, I wanted to scare him away. You're good. I got you. What What do you know about the matanzas? Wait, let me let you up real quick. Gracias. Ningún problema. I don't think he knows anything about him. Okay. More blue stuff. Let's just keep going. So they, they fled. They fled. Somebody else came in and, and was squatting on the, the castle that they were in. Obviously, they're being chased by this Maria chick or whoever it is. She must be Anton's primary forcer out here. No, 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 no. Are there more? Did I hear more? Holy cow, dude. Uh, those those things absolutely terrify me. Are we, we still going the right direction, I hope? We fall on the flamingos now? I see more blue stuff, more flamingos. Yeah, we're just we're gonna keep running. Ooh, we've got a waterfall here. This is beautiful. If I was gonna build a, a you know new secret camp, I'd definitely do it up on top of a mountain with a waterfall. That's a good idea. Got a swamp full of gators downstairs to let you know when people are coming. I see all the blue flowers, flamingos, and here's a hut. This must be it. I come in peace. That music must be Maximas Matanzas. Cojone, I'm not the first to find them. Beautiful. So they must know they're here. That's not a good thing, but um, at least they took care of them. Got to be careful here. Inga, hope I'm not too late, officer. Have to be careful. No. Clara, I think I found Maximas Matanza's hiding spot. But Castillo's soldiers got here first. We're gonna take them out. Having some fun before they call for backup. You know what to do, Danny. Whatever it takes. He's a significantly higher level, though. <laughs> We're gonna be smart here. Gonna have to use our machetes. Nothing to see here. I'm gonna get this out just in case we need it. How about a smoke break, eh? Smoking kills. Sorry, sorry about it. So do machetes to the, the neck. I don't know if we're gonna be, if, if we two tap them, does that, is that gonna take care of business? We might just have to go for it. Shoot. Oh, still a one shot. I'm gonna take these guys out and then we'll go cut her down. And last but not least, I believe we've got these two out here. Got him. Beautiful. Okay. Well, Talia, I believe you're free. And I think we're, uh, I think we're good to go. Welcome you to the club. Get me down from here! I got okay, you. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Here you for your service. You me down or what, carajo? Ah, ding! You must be Talia. Move. What the fuck? Hey, uh, you think I could keep this? No, yes. <clears throat> hey, man, you just saved Maximus Matanzas. The most blessed motherfucking group in Yara. So I would have done it myself personally, but you know, I couldn't stop crying. Get out of my way. Well, I got y'all, don't man. you? I'm from Mexico. I like Bicho. Get me the fuck out of here. Paolo. I know you can hear me. If I let you out, you're gonna be half? Mi amor. Fuck you, Talia. Oh, I thought you wanted to hide like a pussy ass bitch. You want to die before we get to America? Mm -hmm. Oh, big man, Paolo. So a real man takes care of his chica by hiding her in a stank ass swamp. <laughs> Fucking puta. Oh, oh, that's just foreplay. 
This seems like a healthy relationship. This is this is goals. Okay, okay. Couple goals right here. You guys ever heard of Libertad? Clara Garcia sent me. Maximas Matanzas. We were Libertad before Libertad. Who do you think dragged Clara to her first protest when she wanted to live in a fucking library? I don't care. Clara knows her boring ass speeches won't convince Yarns to join Libertad. She needs her voice. Don't worry, Talia's full of shit and so are you. <laughs> Welcome to Camp Maximus. <laughs> They're animals. Everybody! Soldados are gone! Interesting Come group. Out. They've got a dog. Hey, these are these are my kinds of people. Now, I don't think we can pet the camp dogs, unfortunately. Also, yes, we do still have this stupid hat on, but it helps out with our soft target round. So anything that we're shooting bare skin, we're getting like a, a major, a major boost in, uh, in damage and stuff. Good news. Maximus Matanzas is safe and they've actually got a decent camp here. Bad news. They don't give a shit about Libertad. Give it time, Danny. They've been through a lot. We can't beat Castillo without Talia's voice and Paolo's discipline. You're still full of shit. A lot more people here than I thought. Are the musicians too? Talia collects dreamers dumb enough to pick fights with Anton's Ministry of Culture. I just make sure they aim the barrel away from the face. Thought I was the only dropout. Papa was a drill instructor. Family's fifth gen army until me. What happened? Expelled. When Papa found out I turned from his favorite daughter into a freak. His words. Shit. Just trans in the military, compai. I was lucky. Talia caught me trying to steal her gear, but instead of turning me in, she gave me a deck. Libertad can help all of you here. Libertad? When Castillo won, we left riots with Clara. And what did he get us? Clara runs off to play guerrilla, Talia gets thrown into Maria Marquesa's bullshit academy, and I have to take a big fucking debt to get her out. From who? Bembe, black market smuggler. Once he's paid off, Talia and I are off this fucking rock. Let me take some debt, Paolo. I don't do handouts. Okay. Why'd you leave the military? Punch my drill instructor in the throat. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> Segunda, Bembe deals in the church. You Bembe? I know a silly when I see one. Bembe Alvarez. What's wrong with Ola, asshole? Try to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I saw your organs to the Yankees. And I know if I shoot you, Paolo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda, you got me. So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. After the revolution, he put on a crisp military uniform. Thirty years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolution with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull. Mm. Buried in the same crisp uniform. Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? It goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking Bambe. I mean, he seems like a pretty intense character. I don't, uh... Okay, Rojas. Fully understand I what he wants from us. I my key from my business partners. Where are they? At the hotel. My associates are named Dimitri and Vasily. They're Russian and they're twins. I'll make it easy and send a picture. You're too kind. They say kindness is the lowest form of manipulation. <laughs> this is a simple job, Rojas. Get me my key and Paolo will thank you. I don't want Paolo's thanks. I want Paolo's debt cleared. We all do, Rojas. Me most of all. Right. I'll get you this key. But then you and Paolo are square. Understand? Love you, Ross. Bye-bye. 
So we're we're running out hits, maybe? Does he want us to actually kill kill, you know, the silly and, and whatever is as well? Or are we just literally just getting the hotel key? I don't know. So this is what they look like here. Blonde hair sweeping, cut of a young beeper haircut. Strapping young gentlemen. Look like they're in good shape. Alright. Gonna have our work cut out for us. Brains on my Really don't like that the homeless dogs there is waiting for us to get attacked or something like that. Don't like to see that. I like to see my dogs in warm, cuddly homes. Ah, okay. I, I see where this is going to be a bit more difficult than we were expecting. It's in a restricted area. Hola, Rojas. I thought you should know that there might be some soldiers at the hotel. <laughs> might be? Hey, I'm just trying to help you. You don't help people, Bembe. You use them. I'll take that as a thank you. Okay, well. It's gonna be a lot more difficult than we originally anticipated, but that doesn't mean we can't get it done. Sniper. Or I will drag you Okay. He's down. Looks like we've got some scaffolding. I'm gonna look for other snipers. I see a Russian. But is it Dimitri or Vasily? Merrick's on duty. Just me and my brother Vasily. We run everything. So that's Dimitri. He's talking about his brother. Just gonna try to get everyone tagged here. Don't want any surprises. If those animals got out, there would be real chaos. Oh. So while the, the chaos is ensuing here... Simple job, my ass. We can... Maybe start killing him? Down. Now we've got a few more over here, but we should just be able to pick them off one by one. Our crock is also helping big time. Shit. A fumigator. Obviously, have to watch out for the fumigators. I mean, that's one way to get it done. Okay, hold on, hold on. Beautiful. I mean, that that right there is the, the simple way to do it. The firework gun is insane. We didn't have our, our flamethrower out to be able to use that against the fumigators, but the, the firework gun gets it done just as, as well. You're no soldier. No, I'm not. Are you Dimitri or Vasily? Dimitri. Who the fuck are you? Bembe sent me. Where's the key? <laughs> so that's what this is about. Bembe fucked us good. First he sends military, then he sends you. I don't work for Bembe. I'm just here for the key. My brother has the key. The soldiers drowned him like a dog, but he didn't once beg for his life. He died in that fancy pool like a man. My Vasily. So you're saying it's, yes. it's still on his body? Your brother. I'm getting out of Yara. You should too before Bembe stabs you in the back. Idiota Kusok! I never should have come to this godforsaken country! <laughs> okay, well... We're gonna go search the pool, oh my... Goodness. Okay, um, I'm imagining this is... Is that him? We got it. This is terrifying. Bembe, you fucking hijo de puta! <sighs> So you got my key. See, I found it on your dead Russian friend. Now, Rojas, the key opens a safe at Via Hudia Hotel. I need the black book inside. What's in that book? For you, Paolo's freedom. Okay, so one more step and we're we're good to go. Is that a cache down there? Do we dare get it? Are there gators in here? I'm going for it. Don't mind if I do. Nice little treasures at the bottom of the ocean. Iron Curtain SMG. Alright, so we are headed to the Villa Judia Hotel. Looks like we made it, and it's a smuggling base. Huh? Like oh, hotel. so sick. And what a surprise. Look at this Let's truck, dude. It's the croc hunter. It's got crocodile skin on the side of it. Bembe, I'm at the hotel. And so is the army. But I think you already knew that. It's the delicious little surprises that make life worth living. Save me your bullshit. Let me guess. You want me to take them out. <laughs> you see? This is why I like you, Rojas. Don't kill the 
soldiers for me, do it for Paolo. This guy is a user. He's dude. He's he's a sketch Those animals sketch ball. Are probably angry. That's for sure. So we've got animals all the way over there. We could potentially let out. Looks like we've got a couple of panthers. We've also got a sniper here. Hmm. Obviously not going to be going swimming in that muck. So I think our best bet's going to be to walk across the bridge and just slowly start taking these guys out one by one. Seemed like a good opportunity to take him down. We've got two here. This is a rough, a rough spot. We need these guys to move. Sneaky. He's down. I mean, the chaos we could create by opening up those crates is actually probably something we want. This worked for us earlier, so let me... Just start some, start some business over there. Perfect. All right. Now they're all going to go running over there. It's going to get their attention, and we can just start popping some domes. Dead. Engineer. Got a couple over here. See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Oof. Get him, Panthers. Nice job. Officer. Have to be careful. Okay, we've got everyone tagged. Down. Gators kind of sound like frogs when they're like croaking. And I, I hear a bit of a... A bit of a croak off to our, our left right there. I don't like that. Or off to our right, technically. Let me go try to get these guys over here. Looks like we've got a few enemies left. Double down, and we've got one more over here somewhere. I think, do we see him? Sniper up there, okay. Whoo! Gator meat, baby! All right, so, find, uh, Bimbe wants what's inside. We gotta find and open the safe. I'm gonna imagine that's gonna be under high Security. We've got another panther over there. Hopefully they aren't still hungry. Too close and too dangerous. Why gators? Why? Why must we have gators in this game? Or crocs or whatever you want to call them. Holy cow, the panthers are serious too. My goodness. Is there anybody else in here that I need to know about, please? I don't want any gator... Jump scares. Oh, shoot. We aren't gonna have to go around through that, are we? I don't see anything. Come on. We need the restaurant key. Can't bust it open. Okay, this is, this is gonna be an issue then. I have no idea. Ah. The restaurant key. Perfect. Okay, so we, we we found the restaurant before we found the key. Well, that's, I mean, that's convenient for us. I don't like all the, all the gurgling sounds, all the, like, little ribbits and stuff. That's, like, um, that, that's, that's, you know, what crocs and alligators can sound like. So you think the snake can't crawl any lower? He finds a way to slither deeper into the filth. That was not right to trust Bimbe in Miami's job. He cut my share in half and had me convinced I was coming out ahead. Bimbe's planning something. How do I know? He's breathing. Go to move the safe to the half sunk restaurant if he wants it. Let the him deal with the, the crocs. Okay. Well, I did that kind of a little bit backwards, but we're gonna be fine. So it, it's it's guarded by crocs. That that was the. We, we we met one of them. I think technically you're supposed to swim under, but your boy has has outsmarted it a little bit. There it is. Okay. Any more crocs in here? Really don't like all these noises. I think we're good. Okay. Get me in here. Woo! No crocs in here either? Oh, it looks like you could have just swam underneath straight up without the key. That would have been nice too. Bembe, it's done. I got your... Giant croc escaped from Anton Castillo Crocodile Reserve down the road. Sounds clear crazy, but it glows. Maybe from all the stuff they dumped in the swamp. Oh, yeah. I can see why Clara has so much faith in you. The 
you are such a good little gopher. A good is that little what gopher. You think I am? Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything to you. Tell me where to meet you. I'm across the north bridge of the hotel. Thank you for securing my new port. Thought you wanted the book from the safe. Can the man have both? <laughs> of course, Via Hudia Hotel is the real price jewel. It's the best smuggling port on the south coast. You just needed someone to clear out the competition. The Russians make good money from this place. That's so and messed up. with this up. book of corrupt officials in their pay, that money will now flow to me. We are done here. But you and I still have business to do, Rojas. You've paid off some of Paolo's debt. Some! But not all. Don't worry. I have more work for you. Yeah, I don't like this guy one bit. Tenga. Military's got them. Oh, shoot. So this is Raphael. This is who we're Remember, looking for. Blue shirt. Why is it everywhere you see? Chest meat hanging you. out. Speculation is a waste of time, huh? And time is money. Take matters into your own hands, Rojas. And fast. Raphael is there somewhere. We'll find him. I'm gonna get up top of the water tower, get us a, a nice vantage point. But uh, yeah, golfer's cap, chains, chest meat hanging out, kind of Miami Vice looking. Ooh, we've even got a zip line over there in case we need it. That's got to be Raphael. Okay. Looks like we've got lots of prisoners all over the place. I do hear a chopper going by as well. I mean, I... Is it a chopper, a truck? I don't... There's something happening down there. I think I'm gonna go up top here. Oof. He is just getting... His stuff kicked in. Oh gosh. Okay, careful, Danny. That was almost really bad right there. I wasn't expecting to take the second shot. Oh, we've got a sniper across the I way. See a sniper. I'm gonna go ahead and get mine out. Let's see if we can. That did not go to plan. I just hate this scope, dude. This scope is is just straight buns. It's terrible. Granted, that wasn't the best shot for me either. All right, we'll finish him up with the second one there. So we've got a guy over there. Got a guy over there. And we could potentially just drop on this guy. One of my favorite moves right there. Beautiful. Let me let you go, buddy. You go as well. You go. Again, that noise. She's down and we can free all these, these guys as well. You guys just go on about your day. I'm gonna go up top of the bell tower here as well. I think. I think there's gonna be a weapon cache up here. Maybe a sniper? Seems like a spot fit for one. 4570T rifle? Is this is this actually something we might might be able to use as a sniper? No, it's an AR. Okay, interesting. Oh yeah. Over here. Gracias. You're welcome. Did Bembe send you? Si. You Rafael? I got papers for you. They're in the truck nearby with Bembe's customers. You better hurry. What about you? I'm going back to my studio. I have more art to create. He's an artist that's in on human your trafficking? Clients. And your papers from Rafael. Okay, Rose. Now make sure my precious cargo gets to the port. See. Si. Okay. Where's this bus you speak of? I don't see. It's 115 meters this way. Alright. Gonna have to drive very carefully. Don't want to bring any attention to ourselves. It's not the business that I want to be in, but gotta do it. Not gonna be Everyone able to get good that back there? Poster. <laughs> Vámonos. <sighs> yeah, I'm in the truck. Boss waiting. Try not to damage the goods. Goods? I got a truck full of people here. No, Danny. That's a truck full of money. My money. 
Well, that's not really the nicest way to, to be talking about these people, but here we go. Okay, so we, we need to get there, get to the boat as quick as possible. We don't want to end up damaging the truck or the goods inside. So let's just be as quick and as efficient as possible. We could potentially go over the, the mountain over there, but I feel like that's probably a bad idea. We got you. Don't you worry. I mean, so far this appears that it's it's going to be extremely easy. I know, I know. We're fine. We got plenty of time left. Long as we don't have an issue here at the guard gate. Papers. Wait a minute. Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think El Presidente wanted Maria's new face? Okay. Go through. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going growing Christmas trees there. Uh uh. Oh, oh man, we are deep undercover right now. Let's just keep it chill, Trev. Just keep it chill. We're good. Gonna smuggle these people right off the island. You do beautiful work, Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, momento, amigos. This isn't your stop. Que coño, they're not going? Business expense. What the fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. We need to put a stop to him. I don't, I don't like that one bit. Paolo, good news. Bembe's off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Talia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Talia and I are still getting off this island. So Paolo's all good to go. Oh, shit, Cleared his is. name. Ooh. Finally. What's up, Bicho? You got a, a so job you know, for us? I'm a badass radio DJ. Okay, that's a lie. But you inspired me, Danny, with your guerrilla-ness. I dream of my sexy voice, Maximus Matanza's music, and Libertar's message all over the airwaves. I call it Radio Libertar. I dream of you spraying a logo all over Maria Marquesa's shitty propaganda. <laughs> Here's spray paint and some bombs I made to make handing out flyers go way faster, okay? Counter propaganda right into the machine. <laughs> I got chills. You feel it down there? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just me. Oh, a, okay, a cool. tingling in my lungs. All right, so yes. we're going to be doing some, uh, some real ground shit. street work here. We're a movement of the people gonna go out, tag some some walls, tag some posters, and let the people of uh, of Yada know that Libertad is growing. All right, welcome hey, to Bicho. Segunda. I'm at Segunda. Oy, about fucking time. You're slower than my shits after I ate too many platanos. <laughs> I swear to God, Bicho. What you waiting for? Spray the posters, plant the bombs, get the fucking word out. Radio Libertad is waiting to be born. Correle, chop chop. Okay. Spray the posters, plant the, the leaflet bombs. Uh, we've got some new photos here. So posters like this are what we want to hit. Okay. Works works for me. We just Ooh. Looks good. Just go up and deface it. Look at that. Give her a nice little mustache or you know, seal her mouth off. Radio Libertad, proximamente. Okay. So we're starting our own radio station. This should be fun. We've got to find five more of those, and we want to plant some leaflet bombs in the trash cans. Good spot for Beatrice flyer bombs. Of the plaza Planting near the explosives church. explosives in a public area. What okay. could go wrong? So you want them in? You want them in the waste bins here, like this? I mean, there's no way we're going to be able to do this in front of the the guards and stuff. This okay? Yeah, this this is potentially going to be a really bad idea. Let's get a uh, 
a little overwatch here. Let's see if we can find some supplies. So here's a wastebasket over here. Shoot. Are we just gonna have to... I think we might have to take these guys out. Gonna take him down as well. Please don't say anything, sir. Shoot. Well... That was not ideal. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Let's uh, just put that away and let's where the, the, the trash can's at. Here, let just me throw, throw it in here. Some trash. Beautiful, Nothing just trash. That's all it is. We've got more enemies coming, Bombs so let me just away. go ahead and, and throw all these down and then we're gonna get the heck out of here before anybody sees oh, or says shit. anything. <laughs> <laughs> and one more, beautiful. Okay, we gotta find some more, um, we're gonna find some more of those signs. Okay, I see one over here. Just gonna draw some. Oh, I see one up on the rooftop over there. That'll be interesting. Just gonna draw some more mustaches and do our thing. I might have a career here. Got one over here. Come on. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. We got all kinds of people Much coming better. in. We're gonna be fine. Got one up top there. Bicho, going pretty good so far. Nice logo. Gracias. Just keep those edges clean, okay? I got it, Bicho. Like. Keep your wrist loose, okay? Smooth strokes. I got it. I got it, Bicho. Don't you worry. Love you. Use our grapple to get up top here, and then we might be able to get over to the, the rooftop side. Over to our left. There's one there, and then there's one over there, I think. So I'm going to come over here. Get this one up top. That'll get some nice traffic. We've got one more down here that overlooks the square. That's going to be a, a pretty good one if I do say so myself. We'll get some parts as well. That's five out of six. One more. And where? We've got two over there up top, one up top over there. Okay. Right up top, middle of the, uh, the courtyard here. Beautiful. Really get the, the word out for us. So we're, we're making a radio station for people to be able to tune in. Hear our no, no, voice. No, no, man. You're not done. Talk to the Are people directly. the next step? I'm ready. Okay, so Maria's on her way. There's a banner she's gonna unveil on live TV. And you are gonna swap it out for our banner instead. Oh, I am. <laughs> am I? It's okay. way up, but you can get there, right? You, you think Clara's gonna like it? Yeah, go team! I'm into it. So we're gonna go take over this, uh... This crane, I guess, that works for me. We actually, we had already jumped up on top of this thing at one point anyway. Looks like we've got a little bit more security on it now. Down right there. Be careful, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I think they saw her go down is the problem. Might have been the perfect crime right there. Get all their attraction over over towards the entrance to the, the construction zone and then just be able to sneak right up here. So we've got to climb the crane and swap out three banners with something more fitting here. Obviously having a chop around is not going to be our best case scenario, but uh, got to do what we got to do. Whoa. We'll find any. Like any family. Bro, this is, this chopper is going to see us. 100%. Okay, th this is this is an issue. Let's just swap these out real quick. Swap the banner. Swap the banner. Swap the banner, and we gotta go. Bicho, I can now add vandalism to my list of capital offenses. I'll be there in a, a, a jiff here, but this is, we are not in a good spot. Picho, Mira, my man. It's starting. And now for a special announcement. Bit more intense than we expected. Hello, my beautiful foreign friends. Any questions before we begin? Maria Marquesa. Minister Marquesa, are you concerned that- How do you respond to rumors that Diego Castillo is your son? I don't. 
Diego Castillo is the first son of Yara and an example to all true Yarens. Oh. Now, it is my pleasure to mom. unveil the construction of the Anton Castillo True Yaren Cultural Center. immediately. <laughs> you see? This is the kind of cultural pollution we are fighting against. Ah, uh, we just need to borrow your phones and your cameras. <laughs> Everyone in Yara saw that shit! Oh my god, Danny! We have so much to do! I love this, man. I'm blowing my own fucking mind! <laughs> I like Pichu a lot. I like that we're tackling it from a, a grassroots perspective. We're, we're gaining the trust of the Yaren citizens. Slowly but surely just gonna make other opportunities available to them. Not forcing it on anyone. There's no like crazy civil war or anything happening here, but we're just we're, we're slowly slowly building. Okay, you're on the air. No, but we are so close. I can taste it. Come to my ranch. Why? Because I'm there. Isn't that reason enough? Welcome to Radio Libertad. Marquesa locked down the internet, so we're taking over the radio to give Libertad a voice. But Yara's old ass network is cock blocking me. It's from like, what, 1993? The red antenna tower things around here shoot out the signals, but most of them are broken or point the wrong way. I tagged all the broken shit, fix and rotate them, por favor. So we've got three towers, one of which is on this mountain right to our left here. We're gonna need some sort of a helicopter or something. There's no way. I. Well, we might be able to. We'll see. Gonna get these things, you know, faced the right way, triangulated, coagulated, do the whole thing, and uh, Bicho's gonna be able to broadcast his message to the masses. Sounds like Jurassic Park out here or something. We've got all kinds of weird things screeching at us. All right, let me see. Looks like we do have some. Some Gorilla paths here. Ooh, okay, this, I mean, this. Yeah, this is gonna get a little bit a little bit crazy. We could definitely use a chopper would be a good idea But I don't think we even have a, a Plane vehicle spawner on this end of the map. We've got a ton Okay, Brepinga. of so enemies are in here. my way Like an absolute this this is a stronghold. This is not good Look at this Okay, so the, the thing is, I don't think we're going to be able to single shot any of these guys, which is going to make things really difficult. Just going to see what happens. Shoot, our objective is down on the ground. I was hoping we were just going to be able to, like, run and jump into this thing. I don't think it's going to work like that, though. Engineer spotted. Dude, this is... This is a mess. They're concerned about something. Something got their attention. It wasn't us. They all ran to the other end of the... The map. If we could sneak inside right now, that would... I think one of our, maybe one of our, our Libertad fighters ran by and like shot at him or something like that. And then has powered up. Two more to go. They've always been so annoying and always ruined so many things for us, but they actually just hooked us up right there. We got to get out of here though before they see us. Okay. I can't leave. Get me out of here, please. Thank you. Holy cow, there's a weapons cache and stuff in there, but we're just, we're, we're gonna go. This, this is true gorilla fashion. Just lurking in the bushes, taking what we need, doing what we gotta do. I'm just gonna kill you just because I don't like you. Oh gosh, the next one, I mean, creepy abandoned ap apartment building is, is better than enemy stronghold, is it not? Unless this is an enemy stronghold as well. This is not creepy at all, so it looks like we want to get up Talk top. Talk about resolver. 
<laughs> okay, Pichol. What did you mark? We're gonna go find out. Pichol, I'm at the apartments. Oh, that place is wrestle well to the max. They steal from the grid to live. But one of their control panels is fried. It's calling off power to one of my antennas. Get on that roof and find the por favor. Follow my blue graffiti to the control room up there. It's locked. But that never stopped you before, right? Ever, Pichol. Fuck ya! Radio <coughs> Libertad is gonna light up Yara with truth. Got it. Oh my goodness, it just gives you so much momentum to be able to climb the the reeds here perfect we're almost up top i like these like little puzzle challenges I'm trying to figure out how to get through things can we yeah all right there's number two honestly both of these have been really easy for us so far i'm surprised should check the wiring up there check the wiring over here. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to get inside, but it's locked. Is there gonna be a way to shoot the lock from the outside, I hope? Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take that off. Should There's be able to come in here, fix this thing up. Wrestle there, baby. Any other goodies in here? Esperanza, get ready for Radio Libertad. Radio Libertad is power. almost good to go. And Radio Libertad is born. All right. Let's keep doing it. Just look at how beautiful this game is, man. Not too long ago, we were in this beautiful, bustling Caribbean city. Now we're out here just in the countryside watching a sunset. How y'all doing? I could actually... I could, I could borrow this horse. My job's more important than yours. Sorry. That's a good horse. Not a very loyal horse, that's for sure, but it's a good one nonetheless. Hola, Danny, you okay? You safe? Si. I'm near the tower by Cafe Taza. Por qué? You sound stressed. My buddy knows this guy who sells calling cards on the corner. And he said Marquesa cut off this other dude's balls for doing a mural without Ministry of Culture approval. <laughs> Getting cold feet? I will no. Marquesa can fuck off. But if she comes to me, Danny, protect my balls, okay? <laughs> yeah. I got your balls, bro. Don't you worry about it. You, you have nothing to worry about here. Nobody's touching your balls. Unless it's me and I don't want to, so. Yeah, we're just, uh... We're gonna climb this last thing here. Where do we go from here? I guess we can... Climb here. Oh my goodness, okay, this... This is serious. Come out here. Is there going to be something else we can grab? Mm. Oh, grapple. Beautiful. Okay. Just make our way up. Get a little swinging action, and we are Control should be at the top of the tower. live. Beach, I asked around Marquesas Jammers or a Taino Peak Station. All right. We're taking care of it. It's, it's all good. I guess up here. Enemy choppers are not not what we want right now. That is for sure. Just gonna hide behind this thing. I don't think it's gonna work. We just gotta go. Let's just go, Danny. Come on, come on. Hit the button. Just hit the button. If we got it, we're good. That will boost the signal. Micho, go time for Radio Libertad. Fucking 2G connection. Got it. I, I can't hear you at all, but I got it. Don't you worry about it. Can you hear me? Bicho? Hello? Binga. Okay. So last, last but not least, we've got all of our, our you know... Signals triangulated and whatever. We just gotta go block the jammer, and we we should 
Should be good to go. I'm trying to get around this mountain so this thing doesn't see us. I think we were getting attacked by an eagle up there. Did you guys notice we were standing on some sort of a bird's nest and I kept hearing eagle noises and we were taking damage? I don't think it was from the... Was it from the, the soldiers? It was eagles protecting the nest. One final task here. Disable the propaganda transmitter. Officer. <laughs> Bank won't protect you. Hmm. Ooh. Binga. That voice. Jammers have to go. Sniper's not very observant. Better watch my step. Not very good at his job. Gonna slowly but surely try to pick everyone off here. We'll see what happens. Ooh. Somebody just got shot down. This is honestly really bad. This this is a lot of guys. Okay, so we ideally, if we can, sneak up into that room past the, the two engineers nobody sees us nobody knows any different any better i think killing this guy is a, a big deal for us if we can do it silently with nobody seeing we could sneak around the left side of that medic shoot the problem is there's somebody else kind of near the medic as well in the tent, maybe. We are a sneaky beaver right now. I think there's somebody inside the tent that the medic's outside of, so I'm not even gonna mess with it. We're just gonna keep... Keep it moving. that over there. Oh, the guy was dozing off, so we should be able to sneak. Right on by. We just gotta go quick enough. Before he turns back around. Okay, that dude, this this is terrifying. So we've got the we've got this guy here. We've got the guy up top. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. He's going down as we go up. Perfect. Is this what we want? Enough of that bullshit. Is this it? We've gotta get up there! Dang it! Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Not gonna leave the body on the stairs, dude. This is this is terrifying. I I kind of like that they put these missions where the mission is is our level, but it's in an area where it's a higher level because it just there's so much more to it. It's so much more intense. It's so much more difficult. We've got to get back around all these guys now. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I kind of want to go back the way we came. I'm also nervous to do that though. I think we might be able to go around this way. Gotta get up the tower. I think this person might have just heard us and they're coming to check us out. Kind of ran by a little aggressively. So she's gonna come down. That's okay though. She comes down these steps and fully commits. We should be able to take her down, no problem. Oh. Make sure nobody else is coming. We're good. Hope we don't have anybody else coming. I don't think we do. Beautiful. Just got a couple of people to beat now. It does look like we've got extra security up here, though, so we got to be careful. There's the second one there. Uh. 
One of the most intense executions I've ever seen. Please tell me you didn't see anything, dude. We're, we're so close. It's right there. We just got to walk up there, but we... There was no way we were going to be able to get around all these guys. Come on. Just keep it... Just keep it moving. You're fine. You didn't see anything. Oh, she might have seen something. I hope she doesn't see the body. Got another guy coming. I don't think he's going to look over the ledge here, so we should be good. I thought about taking her out. She's in the perfect spot to take her out, but not if he's there looking over her. Dude, this is... This is insane. We just got to get right there. Uh, we could we could totally open this up, too. I mean, we, we could fight these guys. There's no doubt about it. I just I kind of I kind of like the stealth. I like being sneaky. Okay, he's walking away. I hope he's not walking down here. Hurry up. Dude, the, the other one where we broke the dude's helmet with our machete, that was insane. I don't think he's coming this way. Come on, come on. Just come throw this back in the back. We're going to be able to sneak our way up, and we should we should be 100% good. Beautiful. Oh, get up in there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's three down. Taking their pesos as well. I'm going to throw him around the backside just in case any sort of a sniper or something sees him. I think as long as we can just straight up go up there and get it done, I think we're good. We should be all right. Covered our tracks pretty well. Gotta flip the switch on the amplifier. Gonna go ahead and collect that. The computer shotgun. Let's flip the switch here. Objective is complete. Formal disciplinary letter. Please be advised, Sergeant Herr Balento has been sanctioned by the local FND authority for siphoning power from the grid. He powered floodlights on several occasions so that his subordinates could play soccer and drink alcohol well after facility lights out. That's hilarious. That's a good boss. I'm gonna fucking die. Thing on? Is this on? Oh, oh, it's green! Hola, Yara! Welcome to Radio Libertal, a new station that is spreading Libertal's revolution from our hearts <laughs> to your ears. No, Anton, true, fake, Yaran bullshit here. We're giving you nothing but the truth and sweet beats. Speaking of which, here's a Maximus Matanza's classic to fire you up. I mean, missed a couple shots there, but we're okay. We're good. Danny, did you hear me? Did you? Did I sound good? Yeah, it's old school, but it's gold, bicho. Hey, Daniel's gonna love it. Paulo's gonna lose his shit. Did you tell Clara yet? No, because I'm talking to you. <laughs> Enjoy the moment, bicho. <laughs> I have the power. Fuck Maria. I'm gonna ram Radio Libertad down Castillo's throat. Our music. Libertad's message. He has no clue where we are. We're just gonna go. Let's just let's just fly out of here, baby. Viva Liberta! We've now got a brand new radio station to call our own. Looks like we're almost leveled up to level seven. And look at these magnificent views. I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. Things are uh, things are going well. We're definitely starting to gain the confidence of the people. We're starting to finally, you know, get out of the shadows, start fighting back. Anton's nervous. I can tell. I'll see you guys in our next episode. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you all later. I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry. I apologize. You're a good boy. You really are. I want you to be, but you're just not. I'm sorry. Okay. That was a dark way to end this episode. Thanks for watching.